it makes it a really tough decision for teams defend inside or defend outside. A very balanced team. Ethan Cunane is not a big time scorer numbers wise. Kayla Jones. These two teams have not met since the 2020 ACC tournament final in which NC State was a winner. You just talked about Crutchfield. There she goes. Not quite looked like herself this season. Brown Turner, her turn now. The threes are raining down right now in Reynolds. You're right about Dotson who outplayed Kunane in the post in that victory. Meanwhile, NC State, you see, has hit their last five shots. Four of them have been threes. Oh my gosh, there they go. Perez two in a row. And that's one of the many things that assistant coaches can keep track of. Javi misses wide right. Reeses just needs a little bit of space. She's not played at all here in the second quarter and went out with about a minute and a half left to go in the first. But Jetty, oh, from three. She's given them a punch since coming into the game. Georgia Tech and Louisville both after the New Year hit. And in those two games, Morgan is averaging 20 points per game, but struggling tonight. Reina Perez from the outside. In the game that you referenced that uh, Coach, John, Coach Moore wasn't thrilled about, he'll like that steal. Yeah, and, and the impact that she can have in a, in a short period of time is huge. I mean, she's a player who can get hot quickly as the key of Brown Turner knocks down another one. An emotional night, and we played for game, played for K game, but NC State riding a lot of threes tonight, able to win it by the final of 68 to 48.